Okay. All right. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Smith and Wesson. That is kind of interesting. It's not normal behavior. No. Does anyone know, like, have they ever heard of, like, a disorder of this? Paid how much for this locker? Five dollars. Five bucks. Is there a sandwich? I'm really hungry. No beans in there? Pizza or lasagna? Coca Cola? That sounds so good right now. Mama, Pizza. Coca -Cola. Coca -Cola. Lasagna. <laughs> I got to go back to the Avenida for lunch. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if there were some dry goods that were still okay? Mm -hmm. I'll ship them to you. Yeah, right. No, thank you. <laughs> Did we tell you about the. All right, I got an opening bid of $5 right over here. You're welcome. New one for 10? <laughs> well, looking for 10. Sold for five bucks. Oh, good job, Jack. <laughs> I knew he wanted to read. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> 100,000 in cash is going to be in the bag. Yeah, yeah maybe, huh? All right, more auctions on Thursday at Walnut Creek Concord on right. that area. Good. Okay, hey, so I'm Rob. This is Dan. Dan's my brother. He threw this shirt on me this morning. He's done a bunch of stuff online and uh, set up a store. Anyway, Dan, tell him about it. Come on. It's Storage Hunters 101 on eBay, or you can go to our website at sharpcc.com, and hopefully you'll be able to see what we find of the treasures in the lockers. All right, and they're on your eBay store name. What is it? The e is Storage Hunters 101. Storage Hunters 101. All right, cool. cool. Hey, thanks, Check Dan. it out. Jack's doing a little pre-locker clean-out prep. Getting out his tools of his trade. Getting out an empty can to sort with a hand truck or a dolly. It's commonly known because he wants to be efficient. And then we're taking it down and getting started. What's your feelings on this locker, honey? Uh. I don't know. Just wanted to get something today. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last locker of the day, right? Yeah. Um, check that out. There's two praying mantises right there. We saw a black widow today and two praying mantises. Well, you don't see praying mantises very often. Yeah. There's two of them right there. Maybe they're dating. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's take another looky. There's no. Looks worse the second time. Mm -hmm. They always look worse the second time. There's two logs. I think this one's public storage. They cut it so long ago they lost the key, and then that must be the this is the customer's lock, and this is public storage. You went lock. to default twice before. So this one almost went to auction a couple months ago. All right. So we're gonna do some live. Unbagging today. <laughs> All right. All right. So here we go. Ripped open. Oh, man. This does look like garbage, really. So I'll I'll stuff on. Glasses on. All right. I got gloves in the car, but I don't have my gloves with me, so this is gonna be. Those are napkins. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Smith & Wesson. That is kind of interesting. What is that? 
Oh, and knives. Smith and Wesson knives. That's cool. Uh, but that's just garbage. Okay. This all looks like garbage. That's the envelopes. Any information we can find out about them? We'll be increasing the rate of your guest room. There's no name on here, so. So he's paying about 99 to 110 a night. Extended stays right down the street. It's 400 bucks a week. Hmm. But this is August 2014. So he's only had his locker since 2018. So if he kept that piece of paper from four years ago? I guess so. Hmm, I haven't seen one of these this gems This is 2017 and 2018. Yellow pages, that's a little bit newer. Um, there's, I don't see nothing in here. I'm taking something out. It's actually a little heavy because there's Gatorade bottles in there. Hmm. Right okay. next. Yeah, we got some ribbons. He's uh, filing that away for later. It's all Christmas stuff, right? Yep, Christmas. Okay. Anything? It's nope. all used it's up. Water. So it's a guy, but this is makeup. Yeah. Okay, another one. Right. It's just going to be the trip of the dump. So far. And that's what it looked like. It looked like a trip to the dump, but what we're thinking is why would he be paying monthly on garbage? There's got to be more to the story, right? I don't know. Is that where's, good? Where's the, what's the brand on it? Cambridge Classic. Mm. Well, at least we have some clothes here. Okay, we'll donate these. What's right. that say? I think that it says donate me. That's what it says. Donate me. Donate me. All right, some more bags. Check it out. Hmm. <laughs> Striking out here. Every time I think I can figure out the human brain. Oh, meal. We buy a different locker. But probably a different story. Yeah. Me too. Alright, got some shoes here. What brand? Soft Stags. <laughs> they look like they're brand new. Brand new, don't they? Brand new. I guess there's a whole bunch of pills, canisters. A whole bunch of them in here. Read what they are. Mm -hmm. Maybe read one so we can get an idea of what we're dealing with. Hydrocodone. What's... Okay. Painkiller. Levothroid. Levothroid, yeah. Hydrolazine. Uh, I didn't know. Yeah. He's really big in the paper. Yeah, look at all these bags. These are bags. Storing bags in bags. So, mm. I mean, I don't know. Mm. That feels kind of heavy. Fresh tea, it says. Fresh tea. There's a Garmin GPS. Okay. Save that. Probably sell that. Yeah, it's all paperwork. Junk mail. Okay, this clipboard. <laughs> a I leather clipboard use. Yes. We're moving right along here. We're going to do some speed unbagging. Because it doesn't take me long to get through garbage. Okay, mail. It's medical stuff. Now. Look at that, it's all prescription stuff. Hmm. Okay, so that shows some change and some. Yeah, a whole bunch of pills. I don't know what those are, but. Careful, babe. Careful what? I just don't like you touching it all. Okay, well, um, the change is good. Because we only paid how much for this locker? Five dollars. Five bucks. Which I know most of you are probably looking at it thinking to yourselves, 
Why'd you even pay five dollars? Yeah, why'd you pay so much <laughs> for someone's garbage? These bags are heavy. Yeah. Heavy trash. They're all tore up. Like they're torn bags. Putting new bags. They're all torn. Up. It's hard to like even get in there. I don't just stick my hands in blindly. There's part of the reasons for the weight. Got canned food in there. And chili beans. Yeah. Soup. Soup. So now I'm thinking he kind of has a problem. Yeah, he's a hoarder. But let's see if he's hoarding any cash in here. Yeah. Look at this champagne bottle or something. All these bags. I think I hear change. Am I imagining that? Nope. It's not change. It's a broken light bulb. <laughs> That's what it is. Garbage. Okay. More bags and bags. He meticulously ties them. Yeah, they're like garbage. These bags. Bags and more bags in bags. I think that should be our title. Bags in bags. In bags. Finally got something that sounds good, right? Doesn't it? Yep. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Pennies. Pennies. <laughs> That's the best thing we got so far. Yeah. All right, so we have a Ralph Lauren jacket here. But look at it. See that? Let me take it here. I see it. What's your imagination say? A bullet? This has got like wrinkles and a stain. This? No, I think it's like seatbelt right here. What did I say I thought he was? The driver. All right, guys, I think that we're starting to figure out what's going on here. So that jacket uh, with the seatbelt worn area right here, that's a big clue. This guy was a driver by profession. We start finding some uh, paperwork, pay stubs and such. He worked for transportation companies, a couple different ones as well. I think he drove limos. I think he drove a town car. Um, and he drove people to destination areas. So I think this is someone who spent a lot of time in his vehicle and on the road, that's why we have all the plastic bags. Because I think what he did is when he went in the store to buy some drinks and some snacks, he got a plastic bag and he kept it in the car. So anytime there's like a new passenger getting in, he wants to tidy up the car, throws all the you know, extra napkins, any trash, any receipts. And remember, if you're doing something as a, as a business, as a profession, you're gonna keep all those receipts, right? Because when it comes to do time to do your taxes, all those receipts will give you a write-off. So those receipts are actually worth money to you if they're a write-off. And um, so I think he put those in there. And then when that bag got full, I think he tied it off, stuck it in the trunk, and then started a new bag. And then when that bag got full, I think he tied it off, probably stuck it in his trunk, and maybe had a bigger bag in the trunk. So he's sticking all these little bags in the trunk. The big bag gets full. I think he swings by San Ramon, drops it off in his storage. That makes sense to me. It does. This also, I think, explains why there's so many... Uh, random clothes in there. There's men's, there's women's, there's um, expensive clothes, there's cheap clothes, there's different sizes. Uh, I think these are articles that were left behind by passengers and if they didn't come back to reclaim them, I think they went in a bag and went in his trunk and went to storage. There's also a lot of loose change. We're going to show that at the end of the video, but I, a little bit in this bag, a little bit in that bag, I started putting it all in one place, and we have a lot of change. Um, this also explains why the, all the used makeup, right? There's a lot of used makeup, and uh, they were also randomly placed in the, throughout the bags. I think people, you know, ladies doing her makeup in the car, goes to slip it in her purse, it drops on the floor instead, or drops on the seat, and uh, those turn up later, and he shoves it in the bag when the next passenger's coming in. This is starting to make some sense to me, but you know what, you guys? Tell me what you think. Tell me if you agree with that, because uh, it is just a guess, right? It's all a guess. We don't know for sure, but we do know that he worked for a transportation company, and I think that's why this all why this all starts to uh, come together with the bags. Let me know what you think, though. I'm really curious to see what your uh, hypothesis is, okay? Let's get back to the video. We'll wrap it up soon. Like he basically took all his trash and put it in here. Handmade in Italy. That's not the shoes that we found, right? No. Can you see them very closer? What's the inside say? It's made in Italy right there. Turn around. 
That's an insert if you, that's what you're looking at. Oh, that is the way. That's the brand. So it is the same. So I think that's weird. There's, it's all his stuff, none of his wife, and then there's makeup and red shoes. Okay. Made in China, Bowden. 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 Eileen Fisher. That's expensive. It is? Mm -hmm. Diaper, adult diapers right here. Mm. Guy ones. For guys. Mm. 28 pound capacity? No, 28 count. <laughs> oh my gosh, 28 pound. These actually look pretty jiving. Cool, yeah. Well, those at least are all quarters. So let me see that again. Think we got five bucks on the change back yet? Maybe. Come on. There's another bag. With Literally, this is crazy. Junk mail and empty pill canisters. How that many bags did you have to get to to get to that bag? And look, there's nothing in here. There's a remote. Toshiba. Probably What's stole it out of the bottle? hotel. This is spaghetti sauce, isn't it? He's got, he's, yeah. And here's some, like, receipts. not normal behavior. No. Does anyone know, like, have they ever heard of, like, a disorder of this? Like, bags inside of bags inside of bags? Look at this, more bags inside of bags. Oh my gosh. That just, still, there's a sanding block. This. Trash. Empty trash. Oh. There weren't very many boxes in here, so some cobwebs. Okay, so what's that? Pressure cooker? Yeah, some sort of crock pot. Is that what it is? Pressure, pressure cooker? cooker? Yeah, I don't like them. Looks brand new. Well, there's our money back. All right, guys, Jenna had to go pick the kids up, so I'm just gonna finish up these last few bags right here. And then uh, there's all the good stuff we're keeping right here. It's hardly anything. Um, I mean, it's five bucks worth, right? There's probably five bucks and change, but still, whew, so much garbage. All right, let me get through the rest of this. I'm only gonna start the video if I see something good. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> These are wicked, huh? Alright guys, so I didn't get any film of me finishing that unit because it was like all of a sudden 6 o'clock. Like I completely lost track of time. And they closed at 6, so I had to get out of there super fast. So if you see on the back of here, I got 6 bags. Big bags too. Not little. Big bags of garbage. All garbage. <sighs> Crazy. Then we've got this box right here, which is all the sellable stuff. A couple pairs of shoes, some clothing. There's there's a little bit of sellable stuff. This bag right here has got uh, tools, like just a couple of lower end tools or some craftsmen's a little socket set. Not terribly expensive. And uh, just make sure I don't get run over. And then. Uh, some adult diapers <laughs> coming straight to Stockton on those but that is not a great load there not a great load but you know what for five bucks what can you say it's probably gonna cost me ten bucks to drop those at the dump but I got about three or four more bags to go with that as well but we do have that box of coins so we'll look at that soon enough we'll see how much is there I think that's gonna cover the cost We'll find out. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. All right, we bought the locker because we just had to figure out why the plastic bags, what was that about? And then we found more plastic bags and more bags in those bags. But I think we figured it out. But if you disagree with me, shoot me a comment down below and tell me what your idea is about what you think this locker might be and why they put bags in bags, all right? But we do have this little box that we didn't show yet. 
Um, I found pennies in here, but we added all the other change, and we're finding just like few coins here, few coins there. Every bag, almost probably half the bags, had a few coins in each one. And here's what we're left with at the end of the day. Boom! Not bad, huh? It's not all pennies either. There's some quarters and other silver colored coins. We like that. All right. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed us sharing with you that story. We just bought that yesterday, so I rushed this one out to you. ASAP. All right, but we got more coming, more in the pipeline. In the meantime, if you would, hit me the thumbs up if you guys like this sort of thing. If you like seeing us buy lockers, go through them and share with you what we find, good or bad, right? Um, but we have a lot more coming up. In fact, as soon as I wrap this up, I'm going to hit the road. I'm going to do a clean out right now for a vintage locker that looks really interesting. Really interesting. I already cleaned out. There's two lockers, one owner. I cleaned out half of the small one. So far, we've found lots of books, which is not the greatest thing in the world. But the other half, uh, some interesting stuff, all of it older. Maybe 30, this locker's maybe 30, 35 years of stuff storing up in there. We love those. They're so exciting. So I'm about to go back and start cleaning out the bigger one. That stuff's got some juice in it. So I'm excited to bring that to you, but you're going to have to wait for that. All right, until next time, you guys. Good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Oh, last thing. I just wanted to say thanks to these guys, Rob and Dan. They actually told me that they'll never, ever, ever bid against me again if I gave them this plug. Thanks, guys. Hey, if you haven't checked out their website, I've got the link in the description below. Check them out. All right, guys. There's all the change that we are left with. Not too bad. It was all in that Roxy box. These are, let's count them up, dollar stacks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so there's 15, 19, 20, and this is just shy of a dollar, we've got $21 in change. That pays for the locker and the dump.